The question surrounding the professor's characters and roles on the show still remains even after 5 episodes into book 2, but what is their purpose, what is their role on the show and how do they serve the storyline? I'm breaking down Carrie's background and why the professors could be playing a bigger role than we first expected in this video. So welcome back to MovieBot, let's talk about the professors. So hope you're having a great week and in my last video I actually touched on Jabari and Kari and it got me thinking about their purpose on the show. Why are they there? So I did a little bit of digging and I'm going to be explaining what I think the future holds for these two and how they could be playing a bigger role than we first expected. But for those who missed my video two days ago on the basketball connection between Sean and Zeke then I'll link this video down below in the description and in the comments section. I love putting this video together because there's so many Power to Power Book 2 connections and they're certainly connecting many dots to the original Power series and I'll leave the stealing theme on Tariq's video down below as well. But let's talk about the professors and no doubt there's a lot of question marks over them because I get a lot of comments saying why are they even on the show, there's no chemistry between Kari and Jabari, everything seems a little forced and I actually do agree to a certain extent because I've been doing my rewatch series of the original Power series for season 1 and just straight off the bat you can really tell the difference between Ghost and Angela's relationship or Tommy and Holly's relationship to Jabari and Kari. In the original Power series it just felt as if the relationships weren't forced at all, they flowed naturally and I thought the characters of Ghost and Angela, they really connected. Tommy and Holly, they really connected. And I really don't think the same about Jabari and Carrie. There doesn't seem to be that connection. I'm not feeling the connection that I'm used to seeing. And maybe it'll happen later on in the series because I'm going to be talking about Carrie's background and what it could mean for her future, for her character as well. But if you go and rewatch this scene from season one in the early episodes, you'll definitely see what I mean about the difference between the connections between the pairs of characters. But let's talk about Carrie and before I do I'm just going to read her character description and then talk about her background and something that was revealed about her character. Her character description reads, accomplished, beautiful and empathetic to a fault. Carrie Milgram is one of Tariq's professors at Stansfield University and his overly invested advisor. After getting her ex-boyfriend Jabari Reynolds a job at the university, their tumultuous relationship sends Carrie spiralling deeper into her sex and love addiction, revealing her penchant for vulnerable black men for troubling her role as a minority student advisor. So we've seen pretty much everything play out to the T from her character description, but what do we even know about her and Jabari's past relationship? Now they used to be engaged years ago until they broke up and parted ways and for some reason, Carrie helped Jabari land the job at Stansfield and we later realised that it was because Jabari's second novel was a flop. We know that she has some sort of ties to Davis McLean after episode 4 on book 2 when she said to Tariq that he better be careful of McLean because a win for Davis McLean doesn't necessarily mean a win for his clients. So there's some history there between Davis McLean and Carrie Milgram there for sure and I'm thinking whether they were involved romantically or just have some general history in terms of work but I'm thinking it's the former. But on the flip side we have Jabari now, he's manipulative when it comes to women in general not just Carrie and we saw this when he seduced his ex-student and actually have a feeling that he might have even smashed Lauren especially after the exchange that they had because he was all excited that Lauren invited her to her place for dinner until she mentioned her parents so I definitely think that could be one to keep an eye on but Jabari he wants to act like a father figure to Tariq and I read Jabari's character description in one of my previous videos as well so I'll leave that down below in the description for those who want to read Jabari's character description in full. Now Kari, her background hasn't been revealed on the show but in fact she did an interview and I'll leave the link to her interview down below as well and she said she struggles in her relationship due to her upbringing, relationships with her parents, childhood trauma and how that kind of plays itself out in her life and how her relationship with her father wasn't exactly the best. He was an overachieving bully and the relationship with her mother was quite toxic and it actually makes sense as to why Kyrie resorts to sex and is a sex and a love addict because she doesn't seem to have got that love and affection from her parents. It seems that she was bullied by her father and never really got on with her mother so she finds love and comfort in her relationships which is dangerous considering she is a sex addict. Now this is something we didn't know about her background on the show but how exactly does Carrie and Jabari tie into the main plotline on Power Book 2 and it's with the relationships with the students that's how. In my last video I spoke about how Jabari could end up hurting Zeke to the point he'll pick up such an injury it will finish his basketball career before it's even began but all of these relationships sets up a potential conflict either with Tariq or Zeke for sure and it will involve sex, blackmail and even a cover up that may be involved and the cover up could be because Carrie could get pregnant and Zeke or Tariq will use this to their advantage and I really see Zeke coming back for more and more with Kari and I can't see Kari saying no either. And this cover up with Kari being pregnant could really be what ties her and Jabari's storyline into Power Book 2 with this blackmail game and cover up and I've spoken about it in this video where I speak about Jabari's character in a bit more detail where I break down his character description instead so I'll link it down below as well for those who haven't seen it. I talk about the blackmail game and how Zeke and Tariq can use all of this to their advantage so I'll link that video down below in the description and in the comments section for those who haven't seen that video as well. So let me know what you guys think 
think about Carrie's background because it's certainly something we didn't know before and although the professor's characters seem a little lost on the storyline for Power Book 2, I can definitely see them playing more of an important role in the last half of the season. I don't think they'll be a complete waste of characters, they'll heavily be in the plotline for the final half of the season that's for sure. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments section and if you're new to the channel then remember to smash the subscribe button as well as give me a follow on Instagram at ig.moviebot. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.